Alright, so let's look at how we can reduce sets to their basic forms. Sets like square root of 2, root of 3, root 5, and root 7. They are already in their basic form. When we talk about basic form, we mean the simplest form or the lowest form. So sets like this are already in their basic form. Nothing can be done to it again, or nothing can be done to them again. It can be reduced further. But when we talk about sets like the square root of 8, the square root of 8 is not in the basic form or it's not in the lowest form. And so we are going to look at how to reduce sets of such form to their lowest form or maybe to their basic form. Good. So if you want to reduce sets to their simplest form or to their basic form, you are going to look for two numbers one of which is a perfect square that when you multiply you are going to get the number under the radical so in this case you have to look for two numbers one of which is a perfect square that when you multiply you are going to get 8 we will talk about perfect square a perfect square is simply any number that can be obtained by multiplying a number by itself so any number that you get when you multiply a number by itself For example if I pick 2 and I multiply by 2, what am I getting? I'm getting 4. And so 4 is a perfect square. If I pick 3 and I multiply by 3, what am I getting? 9. So 9 is a perfect square. If I pick 4 by 4, what am I getting? 16. So 16 is also a perfect square. Don't forget, 1 by 1 gives me 1. And 1 is also a perfect square. To pause the video, I write the next 5 perfect squares. Good, work for yourself. And so we are going to use that idea. So we are talking about two numbers that when you multiply, you are going to get the number under the radical, in this case, 8. And one of them is a perfect square. So which numbers do you think of? It's going to be 4 times 2. 4 times 2 give me 8. And then 4 is a perfect square. Good. So if you're able to write it like this, the only thing you have to do is that each of them takes the square root sign. So you have root 4 times root 2. And then the square root of the perfect square can simplify it to a whole number. The square root of 4 is giving me what? 2 times root 2. And this is equal to 2 root 2. You got that? Very simple. Now let's look at the square root of 12. The square root of 12 is also not in the simplest form. We can reduce it to the simplest form. So as we did for the square root of 8, the two numbers are 4 and 4. 3. 4 by 3 will give me what? 12. And then 4 is a perfect square. Very simple as that. So each of them takes the square root sign, as you said earlier. And square root of 3. And this is equal to 2 root 3. That's the basic form. Well, that's the simplest form. Good. So let's try our hands on these few examples. The square root of 27. Which two numbers are we going to multiply to get 27? Good. Two numbers are 9 and what? 3. 9 times 3 is 27. Then 9 is a perfect square. Good. So as we said earlier, each of them takes the square root sign. 9 is a perfect square, so we simplify it further. This one, the square root of 3, you can't do anything about it. It's already the simplest form. So there's nothing you can do to that. You have to leave it like that. Maintain it like that. Good. Then 3 times square root of 3 is simply 3 3. But it's the same as that. As simple as that. Good. So pause the video and try this one. And let's see. Good. I believe we are done. Let's see what we are getting. So the square root of 150. Which two numbers are we going to multiply to get 150? 
as simple as that and as you did in your books. And five. So each of them takes the square root sign. And then 25 is like the first square, so we can reduce further. 5. The square root of 25 is what? 5. Times the square root of 6. The square root of 6 is already in the basic form, so we can't do anything to that. And then this is equal to 5 times what? 6. You hear that? Laugh for yourself. Alright, this one is square root of 200. Looks like this one looks more simple. Good. This one. times 2, which is giving me 200, and then 100 is a perfect square. And as I said, each of them takes the square root sign. And then since 100 is a perfect square, the square root of 100 can reduce to what? 10. And then this one is 10 equal to 2. Good. And the last one. Let me try this one. Alright, so pause the video and try the last one and let's see what you're getting. I believe we are done. Let's do it together. Which two numbers are we going to? Which two numbers are we going to multiply to get 192? Yeah, that's your time. 64 by the way. 64 by the way will give me what? 192. So we have square root of 64 times square root of what? 3. Square root of 64 is what? 8. The square root of 3 is already in the basic form, so we can't do anything to that. We have to maintain it like that. Good. And then this one is going to be what? 8. As a final answer. If you have any comments, leave it in the comment section. And please don't forget to like and share my video.